So this here is our showy flower mix. This is made of lots of different true flowers. I emphasize true flowers because we have many different cover crop species that are really great for pollinators and attracting beneficial insects, but there's something to be said about what I would call these true flowers. Things like zinnias and marigolds, corn flowers, we've got uh, cosmos in here. These are things that I would classify as true flowers versus things that would be more in a cover crop context, such as sunflowers, mustards, clovers, things that are still going to have that bloom, but would maybe be less popular in a landscaping setting. Um, so that's one of the reasons that this mix exists is for if we have an area where we really want that aesthetic to be pleasing, uh, somewhere close up to the house, or for a pollinator strip where we really want to bring in a lot of neat insect activity, I think there's some really unique insect activity here that we don't necessarily see on some of our other pollinator mixes. Those pollinator mixes serve their purpose, no doubt, um, and we see a lot of good beneficial insects there, but we see greater insect diversity here. Uh, right now we've got a variety of different um, butterflies working these over. I see several hummingbird moths and lots of honeybees, and so uh, we're really pleased with this mix. In here we've got zinnias that are blooming early. We've got flax that's another blooming er early species. Flax would be one that would be more from our cover crop context but really does a nice job in this mix providing a blue blossom. We've got the corn flowers also putting out a blue blossom. And then we've got some later things that are coming such as marigolds. Looks like it's about to throw a flower in another three weeks. Cosmos ready to open up about any time. So we really stagger out that bloom period and get uh, more flowers over an extended period of time.